Hello guys. So, given by default, opening life after, randomly choose DX9 or DX11. But why? Why is that the case? It's because of our system modules. Okay? It's because of our system modules, guys. But, I will not gonna go deep into that. Okay? Because most players are suffering from performance issue when it comes with these two versions of APIs or Direct X. Okay? To be precise, the game is pretty much optimized in 32-bit system for DX9 than DX11 or the 64-bit system. But your PC is running in 64-bit. So how? It means that if your PC is running in 64 bit, of course, it, there is a highly chance that the life after will forcefully open DX11 for you. But most of players are lagging in DX11 because the game is pretty much optimized in DX9 or the 32 bit system. So in this video, I will show you how I managed to force open DX9 or DX11. Yeah. Using reverse engineering. Yeah, boy, they call it in that way. <laughs> I mean, in formal way, okay? So, okay, let's begin. Um, um, you have to locate the live after application. Then you have to right click and you have to click open file location and you will be end up in live after directory and here we see bin folder and documents folder and if we open documents folder we see another bin folder let's go back and we see a bin folder here we have to delete this guys that is very nothing it, it doesn't help the game itself so you have to open document and locate bin this this x64 and x86 is the one that the game is reading while we open life after okay x84 means direct direct x11 or dx11 and x86 means direct x9 or system 32 and this is system 64 okay so here how, how we gonna forcefully open dx9 or dx11 is just by simply renaming the folder if you want to force open dx9 you have to put anything anything in the dx64 folder name just example on mine i will put some 1x the name 1x or yeah, just put 2x or many x but for me i will put 1x so i can easily delete it and back it to original name so after you have renamed it and you open that after the game will execute command and will disregard this folder when we disregard this folder it will forcefully read this folder so it means you are forcing the, the application to be in the 32 bit system okay so we have to open this it's loading and now you have to rename it back to original and and you will see it is forcefully in dx9 you see that it's in 32 bit 32 bit guys and how i can prove that that is the dx9 go file location and you see that x86 that's the x86 guys see dx9 direct x9 already so let's go about how about dx11 guys dx11 okay let's enforce open dx11 we have to rename the x86 folder i will put x so i can easily rename it back to original and open this and rename it back to original after you open the live after and the system will forcefully detect to x, 
CX11. I like him a little bit. Go to task manager, right click the life after and open file location like this. And there you go, you see the X8, X64. Okay, so that's, that's how we're gonna do it. See that? CX11 now. I hope you enjoyed this video guys. Okay, 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 see ya.